Hey what's up guys and welcome to this Inform Chalanulu player review. Now I was looking through the comments of my previous video to uh, check the pronunciation of this guy's name so if I've got it wrong all I can do is apologize if I've got it right. Yeah. Happy days. Anyway let's move into the actual review we'll just call him Hakan from now on because otherwise I'll just butcher it. Anyway 5 star weak foot which is awesome 4 star skill moves and this guy has one hell of a right foot on him for long shots, for passing, for set pieces. He is incredible for stuff like that and you can see that just from the stats. Nevertheless let's get into them. So, we start off with the physical attributes, as we always do, and as you can see, not the best strength of 55, and his balance of 77 isn't the best. Skill attributes, there are some very, very impressive ones. 98 free kick accuracy, which is just insane. 96 curve, which is crazy. 89 shot power too, and in general, those stats on an 80 overall card, very impressive, so as you can probably imagine from set pieces for long shots, this guy is very freaking useful. Now, this informed card does actually come out of packs as a striker. Do I advise him there? No, he's very weak and gets pushed around quite a lot and his finishing isn't really that great. However, if you do pick him up, I advise him more at Cam, although he wasn't too bad at centre forward. Now, in the first one or two games I played with this card, I did use him at striker and honestly, he just was no use there. I definitely think you'd be better off using this card in a deeper position because then he can take advantage of what he's good at long distance shooting and if it doesn't go in it will either hit the bar or test the keeper and more than likely the keeper will either palm it out for a corner or palm it out for a tap in. Now let's talk about his passing. Now this is going to sound a bit weird. His crossing and delivery from corners was very good. However, his crossing in game didn't seem that great. I and mean, it wasn't terrible, but it just didn't seem as good as I was expecting it to be. But still his passing in general, long passing, short passing, really good in game. Dribbling now, not that bad to be honest. I expected it to be a bit better, but um, yeah, no complaints really. Shows a good bit of ball control here. Taking the ball on the inside of the defender before powering the ball into the back of net. Very nice goal from Hakan there. And now we come on to probably my favourite clip when using this guy. Really good bit of ball control. Shows a decent bit of strength and balance. Look at this. He has got it in his locker. Doesn't always show it, but he has got it. But sadly, the shot was blocked. We do get a corner from it, which um, he does whip in a pretty good ball. Here you will see a preview of his set piece stats, which is, uh, yeah, they're just ridiculous. Whips in a pretty good ball. But sadly, Mika Richards, yeah, pretty much straight at the keeper. Not the best header, but still a nice chance created. So it's time to summarise this informed challenge of Lucard, and I'm going to give him an 8.4 out of 10. Now, he was a good player, and if you do pick him up, don't use him at striker, use him at centre forward or cam. I definitely feel like he'd be better at cam. I was a bit disappointed with like the lack of involvement. Sometimes he wasn't there, which um, was a bit frustrating because he's great on the ball. But um, if he's not in the right position, then I can't get that out of him. Also, strength and balance can let him down. But positively, once you do get him on the ball, his dribbling's pretty good. The five-star weak foot is obviously very useful. Long shots and set pieces are fantastic. And his passing is pretty damn good. He's a good player who can definitely get you goals, but just as easy as he can get you goals, he can also be taken out of the game very easily by your opponent crowding around him and getting physical with him. So, is he worth the coins? To be fair, his non inform is pretty damn good, so please do bear that in mind. But um, if this guy drops to around 20 to 40k, that's when I'd consider picking up the inform up. If not, I'd probably stick with the non inform. But still, two very good cards, and they're definitely worth trying out if you haven't used either of them already. Anyway, guys, that is my review of Inform Chalanolu. Don't murder me in the comments if I have pronounced his name wrong because chances are I have. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you could leave a like on this video, that would be awesome. Comment below who you'd like me to review next. Have a good day. Adios.